by Neville Goddard. Chapter 4. Are You Making Wine? The Bible's purpose is to lift the individual up to a higher level of being. This begins in the state of Moses and the discovery of I Am. Then in the book of Isaiah, we are told to turn back your foot from the Sabbath and take delight in the Lord. Let us examine this thought to find its deeper meaning. Now, in order to keep the Sabbath, you must cease from having any mental doubt, as the mental foot you now stand upon is your belief. When your mental foot touches the earth, its action is automatic and mechanical. Using your powerful consciousness, begin now to break the mechanical hold it has on your life by turning your thoughts to your fulfilled desire and observe the Sabbath. The twins spoken of in scripture symbolize your duality, Abel, the inner you, and Cain, the outer you. A reversal of order must now occur, for in the New Testament, your true identity is revealed as Christ, the inner you, your hope of glory. As you walk the earth, see people as they want to be seen, and you are pouring oil on their wounds. But if you do not, you are as the scribes and the Pharisees described in the 23rd chapter of Matthew, doing their deeds to be seen by men. They preach, but do not practice. In the third chapter of the book of John, the story is told of Nicodemus, an intellectual man who believed that if he kept the law of Moses, he could enter the kingdom of heaven. Yet he was told, you must be born again, born of water and spirit. Here, we see the difference between the intellect and wisdom. Keeping the law of Moses is not enough. You must experience a change in the level of your being, thereby giving you wisdom in order for you to know rebirth. Your inner talking is the breeding ground of your future, be it lovely or unlovely. This is told us so vividly in the book of Deuteronomy. I set before you this day blessings and cursings. Every time you tell someone off, even though it is done in your mind, you curse him. And every time you do unto others what you would like done unto you, they are blessed in the doing. Water is the symbol of psychological truth. To know the truth is not enough. It must be acted upon. At which time the psychological water turns into wine. Start now to observe all of your unpleasant, negative thoughts and change them. For until you separate yourself from the state from which these thoughts flow, they will continue to cause you to have the same experiences in life.